What's going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about my options portfolio. I want to give you a quick overview of how it's going, what I've been doing, everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, in case you are new, I do have a account with IBKR that I use primarily for swing trades slash options, uh, trades and stuff like that. So I've been transparent going over all of the transactions last week. It wasn't all that great. I ended up getting because uh, with my options, I do try to mitigate as much risk as possible and just tried to collect premiums by selling both calls and puts. And so I collected roughly, I think it was three hundred dollars. Um, the rest was essentially exercise. So I am shorting quite a lot of stocks right now. I've been kind of cycling in and out, so I'm going to get right to it. So starting off quickly going over to IBKR, the desktop version, I'm shorting four stocks right now. There was a little bit more. So I did also get exercise to Starbucks at $98. Of course, right now it is sitting at 95 and change. So I did make a good around uh, $400 from that. And I'm not even talking on uh, the options premium itself that I did keep. So that was just 400 uh, ish for 40 or something. I also did have ticker P A T H. So I did, that did get exercise. So I made around hundred dollars off of that. Nothing really crazy um, all in all, but I am shorting these four stocks uh, again as a byproduct of selling calls. So Palantir, I did sell two different ones. So one of which was one option at, uh, I believe it was $34.50. The other one was at 35. So my average right now is uh, $35.20. So that is factoring in the premiums I did receive. So right now I'm down 2.5%. So 300 shares of that. Nothing really crazy. I do feel with tomorrow being a very big day for the markets that essentially there will be a pullback. The market really wants a 50 basis point cut. Even I believe there was a couple of letters sent to Powell saying that a 75 needs to be done, but in reality, a 25 probably will come. And as a byproduct of that, you'll probably see a little bit more of a pullback. So I'm not really worried about Palantir uh, being or shorting Palantir at this stage. Also, SoFi I am shorting because I did sell uh, 750 calls and it obviously continued to run up. I'm not really worried about it, even though I'm down 7.7%. It's not all that much money in the grand scheme of things. So $7.53 is my average. Lucid, similar nature, it just ran up higher than anticipated. So $3.58 or 59 is my average. 500 shares, currently down 6.4%. Still not really worried uh, as far as that. I actually just did a video under my dedicated Lucid channel. And don't get me wrong, uh, when I am doing this, I actually really do like Palantir, SoFi, Lucid. I like even uh, Robinhood too. Just this account is strictly for no emotion. I do not care about that. It's based on technicals. And of course, sometimes you get it wrong. Sometimes you get it right. As long as you're right, more common than what you're wrong, then you still make money. And so far, I've been doing fairly uh, well on this portfolio. I think it's up around 25% uh, year to date, give or take. But um, starting off though, Lucid, I just did a video under my dedicated Lucid channel and a lot of the what is happening and propelling it higher up 1.06% and actually when I did my video it was at 392. All of it is hollow. So it is going to really pull back um, and it's been starting already and imagine if a 25 basis point cut happens then yeah you'll see a even further pullback. So I'm not really worried about Lucid whatsoever. Robinhood, this one has been a pain. Um, for those of you that are kind of following the market right now, somehow Robinhood is just abnormally high and I don't think it's justified. So I did sell, uh, I believe it was initially five um, calls at $21. So that was exercised. Initially I was down, but me being the somewhat stubborn individual I am, I did short uh, additional 100 or 1,000 shares at $22 and I think it was 45 cents. And so that gives me a average right now of $21.98 because I feel Robinhood shouldn't be at these levels whatsoever. So again, I'm down 3.2%, not really worried whatsoever. So if for any reason 
it is that 25 basis point cut. I can easily see this going to kind of the high 20s, most likely tomorrow. And then lo and behold, I'm up around 1500. So yeah, this is basically what I'm doing. The reason why a lot of this was kind of uh, exercised last week is because I, I did things different. And so I normally do majority of my options Thursday and Friday, and that's where I make the most of my money. So I make roughly, I don't know, $500. That's my kind of target per week just from option premiums. And then whether they're exercised or not, that's kind of a secondary issue that I can always work with. But all in all, I... Uh, yeah, I kind of went deviated from my normal plan. So I started to do a lot of options on Monday and Tuesday. So yeah, uh, this is kind of my portfolio right now. I do have several other portfolios. So you guys in the States call it Ameritrade. Uh, we call it in Canada, Waterhouse, TD Waterhouse. I also have Wealth Simple, uh, Scotia. I have a lot of different accounts. And yeah, so I can... Uh, be, go over other trading things that I do. A lot of my other accounts are long-term accounts, so um, not really as fun and exciting as this account, even though majority of stocks I'm holding right now are red. It's just swing trades, and that's kind of the basis of this uh, portfolio. So this is why I wanted to share this with you. What have you guys been trading and potentially why? And have you guys been doing options? Like I've stated a couple of videos back, really want to target volatile stocks. So quickly going back over to my watch list, a lot of these stocks are very volatile, such as NEO. Um, NEO one is a different beast because I feel like if there is going to be a recovery, uh, more of a broad market ex uh, recovery, NEO one isn't one I would want to do covered calls on because it has shown in the past it can easily go up very, very fast. But and plus they have the production to really back it. Uh, whereas Lucid, yeah, I really like Lucid, but they don't, they're not there operationally whatsoever. They have good tech, but it seems like people don't really want the tech right now. So, and plus uh, Lucid is very heavily shorted. Same goes for SoFi. So yeah, um, I think in general, a lot of these stocks are ones that you can always target for options. PayPal is another one that I typically do. I probably should have been a little bit more on the ball at its peak and probably sold a 72.50 or 72 calls. Just again, anticipating more of a negative day tomorrow. So what's your thoughts? Uh, what have you been doing? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. Also take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So this is a good deal in among itself. So definitely take advantage of that link in the description below and also the comments with all that said, appreciate all of you watching.